I was wrong about the Techno Phantom X2 Pro. Well, come to think of it, was I actually wrong? I mean, the Techno Phantom X2 Pro literally looks to me like a glorified mid ranger, sort of like the Galaxy A73. I'm sure you guys are probably confused, so let me give you context. The Techno Phantom X2 Pro was launched a couple of weeks ago and it's launched at the price of $930 in which if you convert to Naira is about 680,000 Naira at the time and for that price well it is quite expensive for what it gives and you could definitely get better devices at that price range. Now that the device has entered the Nigerian market, the price has been significantly reduced to under 500,000 Naira and for that price, you get a 6.8 inch 1080p AMOLED display, premium build quality and a beast of a processor. The Techno Phantom X2 Pro has a glass display with aluminum sides and a grippy plastic back. At first, I did not like the red design. But I guess it's grey on me. It comes in Stardust grey and Mars orange color variations. So the Techno Phantom X2 Pro being a flagship means it lacks features like a headphone jack and no micro SD card, which is shocking from Techno. But hey, it is what it is. Up front is a massive 6.8 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels with support for 120 hertz refresh rate and a protection of Corning Gorilla Glass Victors 1. It however lacks HDR support and it has a low peak brightness of 500 nits. Their first flagship so we'll give them a pass. Notwithstanding, content consumption is great on the device but at the same time we lack stereo speakers. On the software side of things we get Android 12. Wait, am I reading the script correctly? Yes, we get Android 12 in 2023 with HIOS 12 skin, which is a bummer. Thankfully, we'll be getting two years of software updates from Techno. Finally, they listened. HIOS 12 is the typical from Techno, a stable software but ultimately not polished. Under the hood is the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 chipset. It is a 4 nanometer processor which is quite capable. I mean, it competes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which is awesome for stuff like gaming, productivity, and video editing. Basically, whatever you do on your device, this device will handle it. Plus, it comes with 12GB of RAM which can be expanded upon using virtual RAM and 256GB of storage which cannot be expanded so you get what you buy. The most obvious part of the Techno Phantom X2 Pro is its cameras. It houses a triple camera setup which includes a 50MP wide, a 50MP telephoto with a retractable lens and a 30MP ultra-wide camera. Finally, we are done with the 2MP macro and 2MP depth camera nonsense. We can shoot a maximum of 4K 60 frames per second from the rear camera of the Techno Phantom X2 Pro, no 8K footage from this device, and we can shoot up to 1080p 30 frames per second from the 32MP selfie camera, which is just sad considering this device is meant to be a flagship. The Techno Phantom X2 Pro is powered by a 5160mAh battery capable of 45W wired fast charging. No wireless charging on the Techno Phantom X2 Pro and I guess we'll also let that slide. Battery life should last you the entire day or more depending on how heavy of a user you are. Other features include an under display optical fingerprint scanner, 5G and dual nano SIM card support. And at the end of the day, the Techno Phantom X2 Pro still looks to me like a glorified mid-ranger trying to be a flagship but it's not there yet. Let's hope they do better on their next device. Let me know what you think on the Techno Phantom X2 Pro in the comment section below. Would you see yourself getting it? And yeah, thanks for watching this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.